Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I do these really beautiful wearable thread bantu knots. I've seen these and I'm like, I gotta try it and I absolutely love it. The regular bantu knot was coming out on me and I just, it wasn't working for me. So um, I just absolutely love this and I would be happy to show it to you. So I have two sections that are remaining and I'll show you how I do uh, those two sections. And I basically started, as you see, the twists. I twisted everything um, and parted the desired parting. You can do all different design, <laughs> which is fun. And I'm using regular thread here. And I'm doing a um, hand sp span from hand to hand. It's a good guide for me and my length. And I'm doubling the thread up. And I'm going to double again, and I'll be using that uh, best to use. A thread that is longer than your length because you do need that extra thread to secure at the end. So I'm looping around my middle finger just because I, it's hard to do while I'm videotaping and I know exactly where the thread is. So then I just bring the end through and looping it around and securing it around the base of my hair. And then I'm going to just wind that around a few times to anchor the base. As you can see. And then I unravel my twist and then I'm basically twisting the thread lightly. Uh, if you do it too tight, it's going to be hard to do the next step. So just lightly around the length of my hair. And I stop maybe just maybe a uh, a quarter inch or so at the end and then I push my hair up to create the zigzag a pattern and then I continue threading the end and I'm loosening it up because I want a loose look now I'm gonna wind the hair around itself as if you were doing a normal bantu knot and I continue until I have no more thread and this is anchoring the knot As you can see, this is uh, fairly easy to do. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. And as usual, uh, please uh, let's continue to inspire and encourage each other. Bye for now.